Hello YouTube, WFan2 back here with another video and today I'm going to do my WWE setup that I use during my WWE matches. Obviously I don't record them on YouTube but I do it in my free time. I'm so sorry if you hear the AC in the background. So yeah, I'm so sorry if you hear it. If you don't hear it, that's great. If you hear it, I am so sorry. So yeah, it's just really late at night and I just wanted to make this video. <clears throat> so, so, so sorry about my voice. So I got this ring a long time ago. Obviously as you can see the sticker is kind of peeling off. The ring is very broken. So I just really like this ring because it's not the bouncy rings. It's the ring that just stays like that. It's not the bouncy rings like I got up there. So yeah, just like that. And I still use this one just because of that. It has the classic red ropes. This came with a a um, part of a cell. So that says like danger. It comes with a little crane. And a crane that can hold your WWE championships and your money in the bank briefcases. So yeah, classic red ropes comes with the normal turnbuckles. So yeah, I got a cut in my hand. So over here we have the, you know, if you're a WWE collector, you should know what a ring looks like. So we have custom steel steps over here, cardboard, just like that. I forgot how I made them because I made them a long time ago. As you can see, some cardboards, you can see some cardboard from right there. Just have a random, the Great American Bash logo right there. Got some random championships too. Got the NXT Championship, obviously it was upside down. NXT Championship, WWE Championship, one half of the Raw Tag Team Championships, and yeah. I'm going to do the Swamp Match, so that's why I got so many wrestlers here. Obviously Braun Strowman and Bray Wyatt, not The Fiend, just normal Bray Wyatt. I'm going to have a Swamp Match, so for that reason I have this. Welcome to the Wyatt Swamp. It's just like that that I can stick in the dirt floor, but I'm not going to make the video on that since I don't make that good of videos when it comes to actually figure matches. So here's the entrance ramp. It's just normal neon green slash yellow green paper. On the camera, it kind of looks really green, but see uh, if you can see right there, the back is yellow. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of um, yellow, yellow greenish. So I obviously put some tape so I can hold it on. I got some popsicle sticks right there to go on the sides. I know this one's missing, but yeah, some popsicle sticks on the side. And yeah, the floor is just some black poster board so yeah or five black poster boards one right here one right here one under this so yeah and obviously one in between as you can see right there so now I go over here I have this little thingy that it called up my phone so I can do so I can put the theme so I can put my phone on this so I can put the theme songs so yeah right there we have this the Fiend Bray Wyatt box I had to keep the box because the box was absolutely epic so yeah, great Fiend Bray Wyatt figure. If you haven't seen the review, definitely go check that out. So yeah, over here we have the WrestleMania 3 Funko Pop slash T-shirt pack. Obviously I have that Thank You Take and Undertaker logo. So yeah, right there I have the Tyler Breeze selfie stick. WrestleMania 6 logo, a random silver crayon. I have a dime right there. And I have the Seth Rollins T-shirt. So yeah, if you haven't checked that, if you haven't checked that video out, uh, it was my first video. Over here we have all kinds of championships. So yeah, just like that. We have some random stuff over here. Obviously right here we have the Firefly Funhouse, which is dug with all this disgusting stuff. So yeah, obviously if you haven't checked out my old YouTube channel, WWFan1234, you see that that was my third video ever made on there. It was my first video I actually talked on YouTube. So yeah, it was a very interesting video. I'm sorry if my voice is kind of shaky. It's like kind of hurts a little bit. Well, it doesn't really hurt, but it's like late at night. We have the WWE Championship that I drew and the classic old WWE Championship too that I drew over here. If you take all this stuff out, we have an AEW thing on top of it where some microphones. So I have this microphone that came with an Indian English, I'm guessing. I don't exactly remember which microphone this came with. And this came with the EC3 Elite. 70 figure so yeah over here we have the extreme rules logo we have the new money in the bank which came with uh the braun Strowman top talents 2019 i believe figure we have a sledgehammer that came with triple h uh homemade ring or homemade bell thingy so yeah we have a drone that came with matt hardy which this is so cool that i decided to put here we have some danny bryan yes hands you can see right there we have the Eric Rowan Elite 66 Bungeon Brothers mallet. So I just keep that there. We have the Fiendbury White Elite 77 Lantern that I keep there so I don't lose it. We have this random 
Andre the Giant thingy right here. I don't know why I keep that there. We have obviously crowd members. We have Daniel Bryan, Seth Rollins, Jeff Hardy, another Seth Rollins, and Kofi Kingston over here on this side. We have John Cena, Dolph Ziggler, Shinsuke Nakamura, Brie Bella, and Finn Balor. And I have made my own custom Rey Mysterio mask. So yeah, I made my own custom Rey Mysterio mask a long time ago. So yeah, I just put it in the crowd because sometimes they can wear it and do it for Rey Mysterio's entrance. So over here towards the side, we have all my logos in my logos bag. Just like that over here towards the side, we have some random stuff. Over here we have the diorama that came with uh, AJ Styles 851 that I got earlier today that I made a review on. That was just supposed to be a boiler room. So we have this random thing that I was supposed to use as a trash can, but then I made my own trash can, so I just keep this here for no reason. We have an announcer's table that came with Shane McMahon Elite 61 figure. We have flashback, basic series 2, I believe, Ric Flair. We have a Mick Foley battle pack that came with Stephanie McMahon. And we have a basics, I don't remember what series, Samoa Joe. I might get the Elite Samoa Joe, but I don't know yet. Here we have a TLC chair that I believe came with a, with the Dean Ambrose Elite 63, but I don't know. I've been It's been pretty interesting because when you get this, you look at the images, it has a Royal Rumble chair. But for some reason, mine came with a TLC chair, and I did not get the Braun Strowman figure that came with two TLC chairs because I would have another one and I would have one. So this one might have came with the Dean Ambrose Elite 63, but don't clearly remember. So yeah, over here we have a Howard Finkel body that came with the whole flashback series. I believe one, it was Ted DiBiase, Ravishing Rick Rude, Sergeant Slaughter, and Bob Orton. So yeah, obviously my dog ate the microphone and the head. So I decided to put a Chris Jericho head on the Howard Finkel body and put a microphone that came with Andrade and Selena Vega. The Battle Pack, I think it's Elite, or Battle Pack Series 63, I believe, I don't remember. We have this little championship stand, and it's really dusty. Yeah, I can catch all the dust on camera. So yeah, we have this thing that came with um, the Sasha Banks, WrestleMania 35 Elite. It's very cool because I can put championships on it. Over here we have this little just random stand. So yeah, I think that's basically all. I don't know if I have any more, but here's some two ladders that I have just randomly. And here we have all of my WWE stuff. It's obviously under my bed. So here's all my WWE stuff. Obviously I have the Wrecking Mobile car, which I don't really use. A table that came with the Ronda Rousey Elite 65. Obviously some broken figures over here like this. It's not broken, but the face is all marked up. So yeah, we have, oh, my, my bag of hands. I have so many hands. It's obviously not only hands, as you can see right there. These are my um, AJ Styles Elite 60, Elite 60, um, I can't remember, Elite, six, Elite 74 hands, which is this AJ Styles. Yeah, I still, can, I still can't find the other AJ Styles hands. But yeah, just like that. We have some Jeff Hardy hands. We have, obviously have a microphone. We have Triple H water bottle. Right there, hopefully you can see it. Just like that Triple H water bottle right there. And we have another microphone in here, I believe. Oh, no, we don't. We don't have any other microphones. And we have the Kane little talk thingy. That came with Hall of Champions Series 2 Kane. We have this one Bray Wyatt hand. Yeah, I just have this ambulance here for no reason. And we have this broken Brock Lesnar figure. This broken AJ Styles figure. So yeah, whole bunch of broken figures. Here, this is the the side of the cell that I was talking about that came at that place set. I'm in my own custom wooden pallets. You see that I have some information of WWE here. This is obviously from King of the Ring 2019. Here we have the trash can I was talking about. So yeah, just like that's just cardboard. So just like that. That's basically all. And now, last but not least, let's show you all of my wrestling action figures oh my look at all of this stuff that i have i have obviously a broken triple h so yeah and it just keeps going so you just go there and you so yeah we have a lot of broken figures in here and yeah that's basically like all my figures i have and plus all the figures i have over here and just some random clothes and teddy bears I don't obviously use this, but it was a lot of money, so I decided to keep it. 
We have the WWE calendar right there. I obviously haven't kept up to date with the uh, with the um, calendar. I believe it's June 27th. So yeah. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace. And also, I forgot we have that.